15 Things Tourists Will Never See Inside Buckingham Palace Buckingham Palace, the London residence and administrative headquarters of the British monarch, is one of the few working royal palaces remaining in the world today. While thousands flock here every year to catch a glimpse of the changing of the guard ceremony, much of the palace remains off-limits to the public. Behind the gilded gates and stately facade lies a world of secrets and wonders unseen by prying eyes. In this video, we'll uncover 15 things that tourists will never get to see inside Buckingham Palace. From the palace's private galleries and gardens to the offices and bedrooms of the royal family, you'll get an exclusive look at areas strictly off-limits to visitors. Number 1. The King's Bedroom The King's Bedroom, his most private space in Buckingham Palace, is an opulent master suite located in the North Wing. It boasts tall ceilings, priceless artwork lining the walls, and exquisite furniture, including a canopy bed made of the finest mahogany. The adjoining bathroom features a marble bathtub and gold fixtures. One of the room's highlights is the magnificent balcony overlooking the palace gardens. However, the king prefers more modest decor, so his bedroom also includes simple touches like potted plants and family photos. Situated right above the palace ballroom, the sounds of parties drift up to his room at night. Every morning, housemates enter to tidy up and lay out the king's outfit for the day. The bedroom is permanently guarded and no photographs are allowed. As perhaps his most personal space, the king's bedroom remains strictly off limits to prying eyes. Number 2. The Palace Vaults Deep underneath Buckingham Palace lies the heavily secured Palace Vaults. These once served as storage for the royal treasury and the crown jewels. Today, the vaults are more of a bunker that houses the palace archives. The high-security vault doors are operated by wheel locks that require several guards to open. Inside, you'll find top-secret documents from the royal family spanning centuries, ancestral records, personal journals, confidential government papers, and more. The temperature and humidity are kept consistently low to preserve these priceless papers. Yet, even the most fascinating documents are off-limits to outsiders. Only the king and a select few archivists can access the vaults. Their contents will likely stay hidden for decades or centuries to come. Number 3. The Royal Kitchens Feeding the king, his family, and their hundreds of guests is no small task. That's why Buckingham Palace's kitchens are truly a marvel. Multiple kitchens provide spaces to prepare everything from state banquets to the corgis' meals. They contain industrial-sized ovens, freezers, and dishwashers. The main kitchen has 20 chefs and kitchen porters who turn out 200 meals a day. Secret entrances allow food to be delivered anywhere discreetly. Hygiene is tightly controlled, and the kitchens are cleaned constantly. The menus and recipes crafted in these kitchens remain palace secrets. No photographs or filming is allowed inside to protect the royal's privacy. The inner workings of the Buckingham Palace kitchens are only for a privileged few to witness. Number 4. The Jewel House The Queen had an extraordinary collection of priceless jewels and artifacts. Many of these precious items are stored in the Jewel House inside Buckingham Palace. The Imperial State Crown resides in this highly secured room with glittering brooches, necklaces, and tiaras. Stern guards protect the Jewel House 24-7. Its location and security features remain top secret. Outsiders seldom get access inside the Jewel House's vaulted halls and silver door display cases. The Queen herself wore and accessed the jewels privately in her dressing room. She selectively loaned items out for exhibitions, but the bulk of this dazzling collection remained behind locked doors, seen only by the Queen, her dressers, and the Jewel House guardians. Number 5. The Security Hub Buckingham Palace has its high-tech security center deep within the building. Staffed 24-7, it coordinates the palace's state-of-the-art surveillance system and controls access to restricted areas. 
Banks of monitors display live CCTV feeds from the 1,000-plus security cameras located on-site and nearby. Other systems can detect intrusions or fires and alert guards immediately. The staff also monitor police channels and the airspace above the palace. From the security hub, defenses can be enacted in case of any threat. Despite interest from tourists, the nerve center of the palace's vast security operation remains firmly off-limits. Its location is confidential and only authorized guards have access. The king's safety is their top priority, so the inner workings are kept hidden away from prying eyes. Number 6. The Palace Telephone Exchange Buckingham Palace contains its private telephone exchange to handle calls discreetly for the royal family and staff. This bustling switchboard room operates 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. It has dedicated lines from places like Downing Street and British embassies overseas. The operators can also connect calls to royal residences across the UK. The Palace Exchange is housed in the sophisticated communications facility deep below ground but its exact location is kept under wraps. Outsiders never get to step inside or see how it works. For security reasons, everything about the palace telephone exchange is highly confidential, so it remains one of the most intriguing secrets that tourists will never witness firsthand. Number 7. The Palace Post Room Buckingham Palace has an internal mail service that keeps correspondence flowing smoothly. The post room manages huge volumes of letters and parcels each day. Mail is picked up and delivered to offices and residences across the palace multiple times a day. The post room coordinates closely with the royal mail to handle the public's letters to the king and royal family. All incoming mail is strictly screened and sorted here before delivery. Outgoing mail from the royals gets dispatched from the post room as well. Located in the basement, this bustling mail center has an array of sorting equipment to process the endless influx of correspondence that arrives at Buckingham Palace. However, its inner workings are hidden from public view. Number 8. The Palace Laundry The Palace Laundry at Buckingham Palace is a bustling hub of activity hidden away in the basement of the royal residence. This industrial-scale facility is responsible for cleaning and maintaining the vast array of linens used by the royal household, including the queen's robes, bedsheets, tablecloths, and more. With truckloads of items arriving daily, the palace laundry operates like a well-oiled machine. High-capacity washers and dryers work tirelessly to ensure every item is spotlessly clean, while the skilled team of laundry workers carefully press and fold each piece before it's sent back to its designated room via hidden service elevators and corridors. The inner workings of the palace laundry are kept strictly private for security and logistical reasons. This behind-the-scenes operation plays an essential role in maintaining the impeccable standards of the royal household, yet it remains largely unseen by the public eye. Number 9 the staff quarters. Hidden away from the grandeur of Buckingham Palace's staterooms lies a lesser-known area of the royal residence, the staff quarters. These modest living quarters house over 30 members of the royal household staff, providing them with a comfortable place to call home while they carry out their duties. The staff quarters are a world apart from the lavish surroundings that tourists are accustomed to seeing. Instead, they offer a cozy and functional environment with modest bedrooms and shared lounge areas for footmen, cleaners, and other employees. While not luxurious, the accommodations serve as a valuable job benefit, allowing key personnel to be on site 24-7 to support the smooth running of the palace. Privacy and discretion are paramount in the staff quarters as employees value their downtime away from the demanding roles they play in serving the royal family. The decor is designed to be comfortable without drawing attention, and the exact locations and access points to these areas are kept confidential out of respect for the staff's privacy. Number 10. The Palace Garages the royal family has an elite fleet of cars to whisk them around London and the UK. 
These pricey Bentleys, Rolls Royce, and Jaguars are housed in Buckingham Palace's private garages when not in use. The underground garages contain service bays, fuel tanks, and cleaning stations to keep the vehicles in mint condition. Royal drivers train here on special courses to master the skills of chauffeuring VIPs. The garage's sheer size and location somewhere beneath the gardens make them off-limits to visitors. Even most staff never set foot inside these secret garages unless they have official transport duties. Number 11. The Music Room The Music Room at Buckingham Palace provides a lavishly decorated yet intimate space for members of the royal family to enjoy music and each other's company. Tucked away on the first floor of the palace's private apartments, this richly ornamented room allows the royals to indulge their musical passions without the intrusions of public life. Inside the music room, intricate moldings and pilasters line the walls and ceilings, which are painted in a calming cream color. The focal point is a magnificent Erard grand piano made of mahogany and gilded in gold leaf. Plush armchairs upholstered in floral fabric surround the piano, providing comfortable seating for small audiences. Crystal chandeliers illuminate the room in a warm, inviting glow. Floor-to-ceiling windows look out onto the palace gardens, bathing the room in natural light during the day. The chandeliers and wall sconces in the evenings cast a moody but hospitable ambience. Over the decades, many prominent musicians, from opera singers to pop stars, have accepted invitations to perform private recitals for the royal family in this elegant salon. The excellent acoustics allow every note to resonate crisply. Though public concerts are sometimes held at Buckingham Palace, the music room remains an exclusive inner sanctum where the royals can enjoy music and spend quality time together, away from the stresses and scrutiny of their official duties. Number 12. The Palace Gymnasium to stay active and fit, the royal family has access to a fully equipped gymnasium deep within Buckingham Palace. This private facility contains state-of-the-art exercise machines, weights, and cardio equipment for rigorous workouts. There's also ample space for yoga, Pilates, and stretching. Family members like Prince William and Princess Catherine are known to exercise here frequently, as did Princess Diana back in the day. Personal trainers are on hand to instruct and motivate if desired. The gym's location in the interior west wing make it impossible for tourists to access. Outsiders never get to glimpse the royals' fitness regimens and private workout routines conducted safely inside the palace walls. Number 13. The Medical Wing Given their public duties and active lifestyles, the royal family requires on-call medical care. Buckingham Palace has its outpatient medical wing operated by a team of doctors, nurses, and other health professionals. The medical wing offers comprehensive primary care services, including routine physical exams, preventative health screenings, urgent care for minor illnesses and injuries, and management of chronic medical conditions. The facilities are equipped with the latest medical technology and diagnostic equipment to swiftly diagnose and treat any medical issue that may arise while maintaining the utmost privacy and discretion. Located secretly within the private royal apartments, the layout of the medical wing remains confidential. Patient rooms are designed for comfort and privacy during exams and procedures. There's likely an on-site pharmacy stocked with commonly prescribed medications. Being ready for emergencies, the medical wing probably contains resuscitation equipment beds for overnight observation, and facilities to stabilize patients before transfer to the hospital. With its specialized services tailored to the needs of royalty, the medical wing provides privileged medical care away from the public eye. Number 14. The Palace Library The expansive Palace Library houses over 25,000 rare and invaluable books and manuscripts that have been accumulated by the royal family over the centuries. Many irreplaceable first edition texts, handwritten memoirs, and antique maps fill the towering shelves. The library contains a wide range of topics from British history and literature to art, science, and geography. Precious illuminated manuscripts on vellum and fragile documents require delicate handling with gloves. 
The beautiful interior with its carved wood finishes and cozy reading nooks provides an ideal setting for enjoying the vast book collection in peace. As part of the private royal apartment strictly off-limits to the public, the palace library remains accessible only to the royal family and to a select few researchers granted access for academic purposes. No tourists are permitted to enter due to its archival significance and the fragility of the rare manuscripts housed within. For members of the royal household, the library serves as a place of learning, reflection, and escape into literary worlds without disturbance. Its contents and spaces are solely for royal eyes to preserve their privacy. Number 15. The Palace Grounds Though tourists can glimpse the palace gardens from afar, much of the sweeping palace grounds are off-limits to the public. The 55-acre site contains vast lawns, courtyards, additional residences, and secret gardens. The royal family frequently walks the grounds or holds events there privately. Indoors, hundreds of rooms for offices, housing, events, and storage sprawl across the grounds' many buildings. Without staff access, navigating these inner grounds would be impossible. Marked doors and guarded entry points deter trespassers from straying into restricted areas. So while the palace may look open and inviting from outside the gates, its inner grounds and buildings can only be accessed by those who work there. And that wraps up our look at 15 secrets hidden within Buckingham Palace. From secret passages to hidden rooms, it's truly a world unto itself. What do you think of these fascinating insights? Were you surprised by anything on this list? Do you know any other secrets about the palace that weren't mentioned? Also, if you could visit any off-limits place in Buckingham Palace, where would you want to go and why? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Tap the bell icon to be notified every time I post so you never miss a video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.